Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back with a Dollar Tree haul for you. Guys, man, they, the fall stuff, it is just coming in in full force in the stores and it is super nice this year. I'm going to have to really use some self-control not to be picking up everything that I see, but nice, nice stuff. And did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? Look at these. I think they are stunning. These are the prettiest picks I think I've ever seen Dollar Tree do. They did have some other um, styles like this. A lot of them, it, they were in different colors. They had words on them. I didn't like them so much. So I picked up these. They're the white kind of antiqued look with this pretty silver detail at the top. It has a, I think that's a maple leaf and the little squiggly and a silver stem, very antiqued, so nice. I called it a pick, they're garden steaks. I'm sure you guys knew that, garden steak. I picked up two, I love them. Just be careful, you know, make sure that they're in good shape, make sure they have the little leaf and the little squiggly and they're not all banged up, but aren't they pretty? I love them. I picked up a couple last year. I can't remember. I think they were more like golds and browns that I got last year. So I think these will look really nice with them. And you crafty people, I mean, I'm sure you could cut this steak off, use them for other, other decor in other ways. You could probably even maybe cut this and make a, um, a stand to stand these on a shelf, like kind of bend it. I just, I think they're beautiful. Good job, Dollar Tree. And then I may as well stay with the um, the fall decor. They had a big box of all of these little pillow pumpkins. I thought they were so pretty. I think these are different from last year, but correct me if I'm wrong. They had this print. They're like a pillow. They're about that size. They have the little plastic stem, which actually looks nice. And then they have this little bead, little bead string. And they say, these ones say thankful. Yes, they both say the same thing. Same print. I got two of them. And I may take this little felt piece with the words. I may take that off. Not a super big fan of the words. I wish they would make things without words. At least these you can take off yourself but I thought those were really nice. And then I also picked up this one. I got two of these as well. Also the pillow, and this is like a white and blue stripe. I thought that was really nice. And these also say thankful. So I'll be taking those off, but I just thought those together would look, would look so pretty. And they also had some other color patterns. I know there was like a brown flannel looking one and like more more um, true autumn colors, like the browns and oranges, that type of thing. But I really like these. I thought they were super different. And it is different fabric. This is more of like a cotton fabric, and this feels more of like a sweater material. So I got two of each. Nice. I'm sure those will fly off the shelves as well. And then they had more of these walls, or not wall, but like shelf sitter type things. I thought this one was super cute. It's like shape, shaped like a, um, like the coffee takeout cup. And this one says, happy pumpkin spice season. And it has the jute bow decor wrapped around, just little added. I just thought that was super nice. And I'm sure you people that... You know, our crafty, you could turn this into something totally different. And they did have different, different sayings on them. But I, I liked this one. Excellent. And they are by Greenbrier. Just says decor. So many really nice to put on a shelf, windowsill. I like that. And then they're bringing out all of the Halloween type stuff. The one thing I noticed, these are almost identical to last year in the shape, the colors. They also had black and purple, kind of like this mesh, glittery mesh. This year, you have to add your own batteries. And this looks more like a, um, 
a stand-up candle in there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's like a stand-up and I believe it takes two AAA batteries. I didn't put batteries in it yet, but you can see you have to unscrew it and add your own batteries. They're very pretty. I don't think you could take that whole thing out. That would be nice if you could. I'm sure there's probably, yes, you can. If you don't want the, if you don't want the candle in there, you'd have to be careful because it is glued to the netting. I may do that, guys. I may just take this whole piece out and just use them. I think it would, I would personally like it without, but you can take this whole piece out. I don't want to rip the mesh. Let's do it. Let's get the scissors out and try it. Now that I've gone this far, I may as well show you. They have it glued. I can feel the glue. Let me get it here, guys. I'm sorry, this was totally unplanned. But I think I would like this better without that candle in there. Yeah, you can just, where it's, where it's really stuck with glue, you can just cut it off. This is what the candle looks like on the inside. You could use that for something else maybe, but I actually like it better without it. Super nice. I'm not, a, I don't decorate a lot for Halloween, but you could take this black mesh off where they have this funky on the top and you could change it out for something else. Make it look more fall and not Halloween, but they're very nice. So yeah, and if you want that back in, you can just stick it back up in there. So yeah, enough time on that. Sorry, I got kind of sidetracked. All right, let's get the food stuff out of the way. I saw these this time and I just thought they looked good. I haven't picked these up for myself in a very long time. These are the Lance Captain's Wafers. This is the cream cheese and chive. You get six packs in here. These are probably my favorite out of all the flavors of the Lance Crackers. I love them. and. I was just hungry for them, and as you can see, I didn't open it. It's like I go to the store, I get hungry for something, I'm always hungry when I go shopping, and then I end up, you know, you put it in the bag, you put it in the back of the vehicle, and then you don't eat it, and that's exactly what I did. But these will, if what doesn't get eaten will go with us on vacation, because me and hubby both really like these. And I like taking these types of things when we actually go to the beach, they're, you know, you don't have to worry about refrigerating it, but you do get hungry sitting there in the sun. So that's what those will go for. I like them and they had all the other flavors as well. And then the last time the grand ladies were here, Harper and London, I think it was London that wiped me out of my oops, all berries. And she's going to be coming back for a visit here very soon. So I picked up another bag for her to snack on. We all love these though. They're so good. And it's a resealable bag, and it is a 3.1 ounce. And it's all the berries. Yum. And the best buy on this is October, but they'll be eaten here very soon. The best buy on the crackers is, I don't know, November of 23. And they'll be gone before then. And then this was different. This is Comfort Creek Foods. And it is U.S. inspected, and it's gravy and chunk white chicken. And it's a five-ounce can seasoned with black pepper. That was different. I'm very curious to try these. I'm sure you will see this in an upcoming video of Find and Fail's video to see what we think of it. Never saw that before in there. And this is June of 25 is the shelf life on that. So something really good to just have on the shelf. Quick little meal. If you guys have tried this, please let me know because I have no idea. And it is a product of the USA and it's distributed by Crider Incorporated out of Stillmore, Georgia. So any of you, you friends down in Georgia, have you guys tried this? Is it good? Crider, that's a, that's a big name brand. So yeah, we're gonna try that one day, me and hubby. We did get two cans of this to try it because the serving size is one can. Interesting. 
All right, that was it for the food. Boring item, I needed napkins because we're gonna be having a family get together here very soon. And these work great for us. Get 150 in here. I guess it's just the Dollar Tree brand. We love them, always have them. And with the entire family here, we will go through some napkins. And then I picked up another thing of these. These are the Crayola stickers. They're reward stickers. The first pack we picked up, I got it not really realizing that they were reward stickers. You know, it says, um, be yourself, on the ball, hooray, super, flying high, great, yum, all of that. We picked it up for the littlest grand lady, and then I thought, you know, Allison could probably use these in school when she's correcting homework assignments, tests, things like that. So I picked up another one. I thought those were really nice. A lot of different, a lot of different sayings on here. Clever and just super cute little stickers. I don't think it says how many you get in here. I couldn't find it anywhere, but there's a lot. You get a lot of sheets in here. It just keeps going. So if you are a teacher or you know a teacher, if you donate to your child's school, you know, supplies, keep an eye out for this. And it is Crayola brand. Excellent. And then I thought, oh, I may as well show this before it falls off my desk. I saw all of these nice mesh bags. So I picked one up and this is going to be taken to the beach with us. I thought this would be really nice like to put our, our beach shoes and things like that that get all sandy. That way I can really shake them off good. And it's by the Juncture brand. It's just, just called a tote bag. And so I just grabbed one of these. I figured it would pack up nice and small, you know, put in the suitcase in the travel bag. And I think that would really come in handy. I got that harder carry tote with the holes in it made like plastic. But I thought this would be nice for things as well. You could put dirty laundry in here, whatever. Super nice size too. But I think I will probably end up putting in our like sand shoes and and that type of thing in that. And then in the medicine section, they had these and I thought this was an excellent find. They are the Gas X brand. Semethicone, 180 milligrams, anti-gas, and it says relieves gas fast. Pressure, bloating, and discomfort. And you get 18 soft gels in here. I thought that was a great find. I did pick up two boxes of these because you just never know when you're going to need it. What is the dosage? It says adults and children 12 years and older swallow with water one or two soft gels as needed after meals and at bedtime. I thought that was a great find. It has to be more than $1.25 in the big name, big name stores. Number one doctor recommended brand and the best buy, and it is actually an expiration. It says AL 2024. So I don't know what AL 2024 means, but yeah, nice long shelf life. I think these would be great to have on hand. So, all right, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. Hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.